Mikey, thanks for joining us on this FaceTime call today. And it's, you know, I say this to all the players, it's strange times that, you know, I'm sitting in my house, you're sitting in your house and we're, we're having this chat, but how are you dealing with the, the lockdown just now? It's been all right for me, to be fair. I've just been sort of keeping myself busy and, and I've had things to do. Obviously, I've got my rehab to, to sort of finish so I can get myself ready whenever we're, whenever we're back. So it's been fine for me so far. I've just been, as I say, keeping myself busy. And you've been, you were kind of in the middle of the rehab when, when the lockdown started. Has that been, has it been frustrating for you? Because obviously at a certain point you'd want to get back on the pitch and just even kicking the ball about with the rest of the guys. Aye, I've been sort of raring to go now. Like, I feel as if I would be sort of back, backing in and around it, hopefully, if all things went well. So I'm feeling good and hopefully it can keep progressing. Obviously I've got the time now to, to get it completely right, so... It's obviously good and bad for me, but I've I've had a lot of help for the physios and stuff. I've been getting my my program sent out to me every day, in my rehab, and I've been able to get everything done. Yeah, so obviously that that does help. I know I've spoke to some of the other guys. The fact that they're, they're monitoring you every day and making sure you're doing the right things, just as you say, so that when you do get the chance to get back out, you're you're fully fit and you're ready to go. Yeah, hundred percent. I've just. As I say, I've been ticking over, doing my running and stuff every day and, and my gym work to, to get my legs strong so I can protect my knee. Now, obviously, it's been quite good weather the last few days. So some of the younger guys in the office were, who are on the Instagram were tell me that you'd move some of your, your gym gear and your bike out into the gallery and enjoy the sunshine. <laughs> well, I've had this sort of wee thing with, with my garage. I've been trying to turn it into a gym recently. So I've got all this stuff in and I've that's been keeping me busy as well and, and keeping me outside, out the back garden and stuff. But... Uh, I the last couple of days it's been hot, so I've been able to to get the gym stuff outside and and get cracking on with the stuff outside as well. So that makes it a wee bit easier. And obviously, as well as keeping in touch with all the the physios etc., you'll be keeping in touch with your teammates as well, and just I suppose having a bit of banter on you know various message groups as well. Aye, aye, I've 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 still been talking to a few of the boys, had a couple of phone calls and stuff. So uh, it's been not bad so far. I've been trying to get a game organised. The uh, he called with Daniel Arzani, but he's in Australia, so the time difference is messing it up, isn't it? Right. Um, that's Call of Duty, obviously, for people of my age. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is that one of the things that you're doing at past the time as well? Like, you know, on... uh, well, all, me and all my pals have been on for like, my pals from Abbott, but uh, I've been trying to sort of limit myself because the first few days I was on until all hours, so I needed to I needed to get myself sorted and sort of stick to a routine. So uh, since I've got into my routine, it's been a lot sort of easier. They obviously they announced last week the, the nominations for Player of the Year, Young Player of the Year, you're up for that award, but also Goal of the Season and two mm-hmm. of your goals this season have made it in the top ten, the goal against Sarajevo and the goal against the Fermlin. Were, were you pleased, surprised? When you I, no, I was buzzing. I, I thought I might have maybe had one, but I was buzzing to, to get to it. Was, it was good to see that. And obviously the Young Player of the Year is flattering as well. And I, there's, been a, there's been a lot of contenders this year and a lot of... Uh, good performances from from a lot of the players. So either way, I'm happy. Yeah, I mean the goal. If you go back to the goal at Sarajevo, that was our first competitive mm-hmm. goal of the season. It got us back in level terms early on, and it was mm-hmm. a brilliant strike from about twenty five thirty yards out. Mhm. Uh, well, I liked that goal because it was it was important, and and we were behind in the game, and obviously me being being young and in Europe, I f- and when I scored that goal, I felt uh, really proud because it was it showed a bit of character and. I was delighted that that went in, and it it was an important goal for the boys. And obviously, the Dunfermline goal was an absolute cracker. But what I loved about it was it was the way you kind of just turned away after scoring. As mm-hmm. I, I do that all the time. <laughs> no, it wasn't. It wasn't even that. I think it we now now at this point. Yeah, yeah. I will. I think I was just <laughs> just the way I'm. I think I was just raging just because it took us so long. Right. So I felt as if we were dominating the full game, and it was just a frustrating afternoon. I've been. A lot of the boys are on me saying it was a cross, but it wasn't a cross. <laughs> no, listen, we had, we had to look at it a few times in the office and it wasn't a cross. Nah, I've picked it out. Right, absolutely. <laughs> Do you know the only thing that disappointed me? Like, you'd scored against Sarajevo, that's our first European goal. You scored the first league goal of the season and then you scored the first league cup goal. I was gutted mm. when you didn't play in the Thistle game, the cup. I was injured. I, I, oh, I, would, I, would, I think I was injured. Because I think you played the week after that. What what uh, what date was this? Was it? Just in January. Uh, obviously, I've, I've had a really frustrating season. But sorry, I couldn't get my my hip injury right for ages, and then this one was just a fluke. It just happened. Like it could happen to anyone. So it's been really 
really sort of frustrating, like being starched up all year. And I just wanted to get a run of games and, and, and build my way into the team and hopefully I could have stayed there. But as I say, these seasons sort of happen. I've had a lot of advice off of the older players and and the coaches and they've been really helpful with me and hopefully I can I can just get through this sort of spell with with these injuries that are accumulating and just get through it and get stronger and everything will be fine again. Yeah, is that one of these things that you know you're going to look back in this season? Because as a you know, there's been some real highs. Because the other mm-hmm. goal that I thought, I actually my favourite goal of yours from this season was actually the one against Ren, which I thought uh, was absolute. Uh, that that one that one was probably it was relief. It was more relief than anything because that that was my first game back from injury from my yeah. hip injury, and I had been really like struggling like mentally with the injury. Like it was really frustrating because we couldn't get it right, like, and it was. It was so annoying, and and to come back on my first game and score was like, it was unbelievable. You could see like my emotion when I scored. That was absolutely buzzing. Yeah, but I mean, I, I was going to say, is that just like one of these seasons where it's a real learning experience for you because you've mm-hmm. had the highs of some big games and big goals, but then you've had to take those those times away from the the game through injury. Aye, because there's been so many times where I've been playing and stuff, and I've I've known for a fact that I'm not a hundred percent right, but I've. I've always wanted to play for the team. Like I, I, I wanted to try and push my f- myself through these things and try and get through it. And and then the knee came, and then it just so so annoying. That one moment can just ruin the season. But there's been there's been so many there's been so many good times this year as well. Like yeah. obviously, Ibrox away the, the the first old farm of the season was was unbelievable. And um, I there's been so many moments that I've enjoyed so much, and I'm just just like. Cherishing all the moments that's that's happened, and hopefully I can I can get more like that. Yeah, we were talking earlier on. Obviously, the, the goal of the season, you're up for for the, that. You're up for young player of the year. And in terms of player of the year, mm-hmm. who who for you would have would be the standout for you and the team? It's tough. It's tough because there's been so many like so many consistent players. Like talking like Cal McGregor, Bruni, like all season, like every single week they're up, they're on it, they're at it. And um, but I can't. And Ryan Christie as well. Actually, I need to say he's been unbelievable. Start of the season was phenomenal. The first half of the season, and um, but I think if I was going to vote for anyone, it would have to be Odson, mm-hmm. just because the amount of big goals he scored for us is has been incredible. And he see every big game he seems to thrive, and that's what I love about him. And I, if if my vote was going anywhere, I think it, I think it would be have to be him. Yeah, I think a lot of fans are going to be voting for him. But I, I think this season there's so, as you mentioned, quite a few of them. There's so many of the guys that are in Aye. the Aye, there's so, so many. There's so many. Yeah. Obviously, you know, you. I was saying you obviously want to get back as, as soon as possible. In in terms of you know how the season's gone for the teams general, we won the league cup semi final, the Scottish Cup, thirteen points ahead in the league. Mm-hmm. You couldn't really ask for more. No, I think that with the pressure that's been on us this year and and the pressure that's been building up, but I think we've been we've been really good and to be thirteen points clear at that point of the season that it was 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 amazing and um obviously we're still we won the cup and there's still a treble possibility on so I don't think fans can ask for more and I think every fan will say that. Yeah, you obviously mentioned you. You're- been doing a bit of gaming as well, but limiting that, are you, mm-hmm. you also sort of battling the Netflix box sets and things like that as no, well? No, that's that's no sort of me. Like, uh, my pals are ruining series like every single time they're out. Like, my, some of my pals are just finishing a day, right. and it's so annoying because you're wanting to watch it and then they'll put it in the chat. What happens? You're like, come on, man, <laughs> ruining it for us. But so, I know it's, I'm not really that big on them because I start and then I just I go off it. It's good that they start and I just go off it. I can't be bothered. I suppose it takes up so much of your time as well, so... Aye, aye, I can't be bored with it. So, I mean, in terms of just finally, uh, you're just going to keep working away, just continue the rehab and, you know, when, once once we get back to, to normal, you'll be ready to go and just out on that training pitch with the rest of your teammates? Aye, I just, as I say, I'm just wanting to make sure that when that time comes and I'm going to be flying again and I'm going to try and do everything, everything I can to, to do that. Yeah. Well, listen, Mikey, good talking to you and uh, 
keep up the good work. I'm going to keep my fingers crossed that the sun stays out so you can keep uh, <laughs> the gym work out in your garden. I know, 100%. That's what I want to do. <laughs> Cheers. Well, thanks a lot for talking. Right, thanks a lot. Right, see you after. Cheers. Bye.